So now the next stitch from here would be our half double crochet. So I'm going to chain two this time before I turn my page because our next stitch will be somewhat higher and when you turn you want to create a perfect edge so you need a little bit more height and that's why we chain two. Now we're going to do a half double and here's our new stitch. You're going to go into your triangle and do a yarn over your hook and then go into your stitch below. Do a yarn over and pull it towards you. And again, with your right pointer, remember you can do a little adjustment in cooperation with these two fingers, your middle finger and your thumb on the left side. They are grabbing the loot and helping you with your tension. Now we have three loops on the hook. We go into the triangle, do a yarn over, and pull through all three. Wow, a little bit higher stitch, different look. Let's do it again. Into the triangle, yarn over, help with this finger if you need to, into the stitch, go into the triangle, yarn over and pull it towards you. Slight adjustment, into the triangle, yarn over and through three. Yarn over, into the stitch, yarn over towards you, yarn over through three. And this is like a rumba box if you're dancing. One, two, three, and four. So we went from the waltz to the rumba. Let's do it again. Yarn over, into the stitch, yarn over towards you, yarn over through three. There are lots of yarn overs here. Yarn over, into the stitch, yarn over towards you, yarn over and through three. And this is your half double crochet, which is your next high stitch from your single crochet that we learned in the first lesson. It's one of your basic stitches, and the abbreviation is HDC, half double crochet. And you do want to remember that you chain two when you half double crochet. Gives you a little bit higher um, stitch, takes up a little bit more room in heights as your single crochet. And this one is fun. Now we're going to chain two on the end, turn the page of your book, lay it across your left pointer middle finger, and now you can see the V's that are looking at you directly at you, and you can see the Vs from the top of the stitch. However, in order to work our half double crochets properly, we're going into the V that you're looking at when the work is laying flat on your middle finger. So let's do it again. Yarn over into the V, and then you see another V on the top, then you know you're in the right place. Yarn over towards you, yarn over and through three. Yarn over, into the V, yarn over, through three. Yarn over, into the V, yarn over, through three. So let's complete this row. As a fun project, you could alternate rows of half doubles and singles. You can do two rows of single crochet and then two rows of double and two rows of single and two rows of double makes a very very nice pattern for a beginner scarf for instance or one of the pot holders or placemats I talked about in our first lesson. Here I am at the end of the row. Okay let's do one more for good measure. Let's review. We're at the end, chain two, now turn the page of your book, lay it on your middle finger, and make sure you're looking at your V's right here, nice and flat, because you're going in this way. Don't look at it from the top. It needs to be flat on your middle finger. So do your yarn over into the first V that you see. Yarn over towards you, yarn over through three. 
yarn over, into the V, yarn over, pull it towards you, yarn over through three. Yarn over, into the V, yarn over towards you, yarn over and through three. I'm going to complete the row. And with a little bit of practice, you get a very nice rhythm on this half double. All right, here we are at the end of our row. We've done three rows of half doubles, and I do believe that now you know how to do your half double.